Welcome back guys to another video and it's round number 11 today the big one the British Grand Prix we are ready to have a great home race I'm feeling good about this one I hope it's going to be a good one last summer Austria we had a difficult time wasn't the same heights that we got to in Montreal but Silverstone could suit our car more just like it did in real life for McLaren now we've got a few little bits and bobs to take care of in terms of some missing parts for our car um, but I've manufactured some new ones uh, to, to yeah, look at some emergency ones basically because we didn't have enough and we still don't have enough for the front wing there suspension I think we should have one more to go so we actually need to make another front wing because I only have one which is on car number two right now so we actually need to go to the development manufacture uh, oh, front wing, okay, it's front wing I've actually got on the way, that's going to be in three days time, the Grand Prix is in six days, I believe, so that's fine, we're also making some spares of chassis and suspension, design wise, um, we've got chassis and side pod on the way from last episode, but I've also put a new front wing on development as well, as we keep on, the, as we keep kind of, you know, letting things cook at the moment, we are going to maybe have to buy a new ERS, for Lando's car because he's worn that out. I don't know whether that's going to be a penalty or not. So potentially already a little bit on the back foot maybe this weekend, but still in, in good spirits for the home GP. But yeah, there you go. ERS, poor condition, unfortunately. Pit crew training. I'm going to do a uh, selected preset of pit stop errors because we've had a few of them uh, lately. So let's do a balanced one. Raise, yeah, let's do a balanced pit stop error because we've had a few little errors on the on the, on the the jacks, also on the tyres as well. Occasionally, the last one was literally just to the Austrian Grand Prix for Piastri. So let's go for pit stop error training to kind of slow that down as much as we can. But apart from that, I think we're ready to go as long as we get that front wing made um, and we can get going into the race weekend. Race prep, the target's Q2, which is... Um, well, that, that technically means that they're looking at maybe a, a harder qualifying for us. We're going to go Q position. Let's go just 14. I won't put Q3 in case. That's a little bit concerning. Finish position, though. Not a fastest lap. Finish position, two drivers in the top 14. I think we can do better than that. I hope we can do better than that. I want a good race at the British Grand Prix. McLaren had a great one in real life. I want to see the same here in the game. I'm going to have to buy a new ERS part for Lando. That is... Ah, oh, if you use another part of this, penalty... So we've, we're already taking a penalty then with Lando to this weekend because of this ERS. That's really unfortunate. He's really worn out this ERS quite quickly. Two ERSs for the whole season is kind of mad, uh, especially with the wear rate on this game. But it, it is what it is. We're going to have to take the penalty and, and, and use it because we, we can't run with 36% on ERS. Right, overall, an 89% set up with Oscar Piastri, 83 with Lando. So we could maybe tweak that further in quality. To maybe see if we can get that even better. But overall prep, Piastri's looking better. 94% to Lando's 84. To be fair, Piastri's not the one with the penalty. So actually, it's quite a good thing. He's the he's the one that's more prepared, has the high confidence. Because if we're if, if there's any race for him to make a breakout and turn the tides of you know a disappointing middle part of this season so far since the first two ep two three episodes where he was actually looking better this is this is it this is now because Lando's got the penalty so it's going to be tough anyway for him from the get-go so this is where Oscar needs to shine I want him to shine right we're going to go straight out we're going to send Piastri out first as uh, I think we were sending Lando out first uh, most of the time in Austria so we'll swap that round keep that pretty equal but we're going to send both of them out nice and early as uh, I really feel like that is the vibe, is just doing the early lap, really. Uh, and then and then seeing how it goes afterwards. All right, let's see what is it going to be for Piastri on his first flying lap at Silverstone. This is, Just seeing the McLaren around, around Silverstone is giving me a good vibe. You know, just reminds me of that epic British Grand Prix that I had the luxury of attending as well and seeing what a result it was for McLaren. Um, Norris 127.5, Piastri two tenths off that. Don't know what that actually means really in context. Let's see as they as they all set lap times. I'm going to try something else that someone suggested is kind of our old tactic from F1 Manager 22 is I'm not going to bother doing a lap in the middle of the session. I'm just now going to wait until the very end of this session and then send them out for a second time and hopefully with that clean air 
they're going to, you know, be able to pump in a better lap time. But right now, looking pretty good, you know. Lando, uh, okay, now other people setting time. Six tenths off, but P7, not bad. Piastri, P11, that's very, very solid, I would say. And the Red Bulls looking a bit slower, to be honest. The Ferraris, and just like in Austria, the Aston Martins looking pretty damn handy. Let's just reconfigure this. Um, I'm going to go for the same set of softs because I think actually we could be safe here. So let's just test out this theory if they can do better. If they don't, we know they're on the same set of softs, so it's fine. But I think we're safe. 11 and 12, like, you know, what's that? Uh, a good, you know, a good eight tenths off the cutoff time. I think we're fine for Q1. But I'm just going to wait to the end of the session, then send them right uh, out right at the death. As, uh, as well as we can time it, really. Right, I sent Piastri out. Uh, I've sent Lando a bit later. It was a bit iffy. Piastri's got Sonoda ahead of him, who's on a flying lap. So I don't think he'll be held up. And Lando is letting some cars through right now on his out lap. So he's holding up people, actually, as Piastri starts his flyer. And, yeah, we've got clean air behind us, ahead of us. So hopefully this is going to be a good one. And then for Lando, has he got cars around him now? I think that Merck's going to come in. So I think he's also pretty calm for clean air. Russell ahead of him on a flyer, I think. So I think we're looking good. So let's see. I want to see some greens. There we go. Piastri. Green first sector. That's good to see as we fast forward through. It's a yellow for Lando. And um, Piastri, I don't think he improved actually there with a 0 0.897 staying put. For Lando, let's see. Is it an improvement of sorts as we go through... Um, I think a marginal improvement, maybe, or not not even, actually. But 7th and 12th, we'll take it into Q2. That's the, the next session is the challenge, is trying to get into Q3. Looks like we could do it with Lando. I kind of wanted to, I kind of almost want to do it with Piastri instead. So he actually starts up there, because I know Lando's got the, the penalty, which is going to be very hard to take. Right, managing quality, setting out Piastri straight away. Norris as well. We're going to be the first two cars out on track, nice and early. Get the lap in, son. And let's see how we do. A little bit of traffic there with Hamilton. But apart from that, Piastri's got clean air. Lando gets past the red ball, which is good. Are there cars ahead of him? Doesn't look like it. I think we're good. Unless we catch Perez. I hope we don't, but we might. But Oscar, he's got a lot of clean air. Yeah, Oscar's got acres of clean air. That's calm. I think Norris. Yeah, Lando's going to have to overtake a few cars there. Piastri comes across the line. 128.8. I know that's not great because we did a 127, oh, didn't we? With Lando in Q2, in Q1. So that's a little bit unfortunate. As his engine is absolutely waffling. And there you go. 7 tenths ahead. Okay, that's frustrating. Okay, I think we're going to do two lap, more laps with Piastri because we I really want to get him into the top 10 shootout. I really do. All right, sending Piastri out again. I think there's going to be a bit of clean air. With Lando, I think uh, I'm, okay, I'm okay keeping him in until the very end, really, and, let, and let's see. Because I think right now he's P9 there. So let's see. Uh, uh, Piastri, green first sector, yellow in the second. He had to overtake a Merc. Has to overtake the Haas. That's, okay, it's going to be a crap lap, isn't it? It's going to be a crap lap. He really had to back out of that. Really had to. The, the way they back out on this game is really frustrating because obviously in real life, you'd keep going on and you'd trust the car to get out of the way. But on this game, they just, they're just they just coded to lift off. So it is very frustrating. Right, Piastri is going to come in. I'm going to go for a third lap. We need to gain six tenths for him to get into Q3, which is a, it's a big ask, but I hope he can do it. Uh, right, new set, confirm. Um, new set, confirm. Let's just slow this down a bit. Reconfigure that. We're going to send them out right at the death, I think. As late as we can manage. I think now, because Hamilton's on the way. Yeah, send them out now. Go, 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 go. Before Hamilton catches us. He's on a flyer. Okay, we're ahead of him. He might overtake us actually on his flyer, but I don't know. Again, did we get them out in the most clean air? I'm not too sure. Let's see. As we go on through to the end of the outlap and by the time they come through that's oscar that's norris hamilton's coming okay we've got clean air we've got a lot of clean air here we've got the most clean air for both our drivers lando's in the drop zone now so both drivers have to improve lando only by a couple of thousands piastri uh eight tenths he needs to find on this lap it's a lot it's a lot as perez has a time penalty for a collision, a collision that he's caused. Where on earth has that been? He's got no front wing. No front wing for Perez. So one of the Red Bulls not looking too great. 
Piastri, yellow first sector, not what you want. Yellow for Lando as well. This is not the qualifying we wanted. Green in the middle sector for Lando. That might just get him into Q3. It won't matter. He's got a penalty. Piastri, not improving. We needed eight tenths, and he's not even found that. He's not even... What is... I hate this game in qualifying. I, I'm saying it now. I hate... This game is shockingly bad for qualifying. Like, I don't think I've enjoyed a single qualifying. It's actually so, so vexing. Like, you would think... Like, I know traffic and whatever, but in real life, you would improve, you would think. Especially with competent drivers like Lando Norris and Oscar Piastri, you would improve your lap time on the second and third run. Misra, how are we getting out, out qualified by our one Hulkenberg? Absolutely stupid, man. So dumb. Right, the race, we've got moderate rain. So that's at least something. Oh, pff. down to 19th place with a 10th place penalty for the new ERS. That is tough, but we've got rain. Please, please let this be another Canada where we can do something interesting with this strategy. Um, right. When's the rain on the way? The rain is going to come in from lap 10 onwards. So definitely I would say softs because they can go the distance, right? They can, yeah, I, I think you'll be okay to, to be on softs at the start. I think most people were choosing softs. And then it looks like it's going to get to full wets for a moment, then go to inters. So definitely go into inters, stay there. Don't bother to go to full wets. And then inters to the end of the race, maybe. You know, we were actually really good with Lando in the inters. It seemed like our car suited it. Lando was definitely really good in the rain. So, yeah, let's go to intermediate around lap. I would say probably lap. I might go lap 13 with Lando a little bit early, maybe. Lap 13, and then I think we're just going inters to the end. Maybe we use a new set halfway through, but we could also just carry on going, basically. Um, but I think that's the motive. That's the motive with both drivers. So um, we go inters, uh, lap, four, lap 14 with Oscar, and then inters again uh, about halfway through, lap 34. Yeah, cool. Okay, that's the motive. Right. It's not going to be like Canada. I, I, I would be very surprised if people are starting on intermediates right now because there's too many, like, there's way too many laps for dry tyres. So it's, gonna, it's not going to be Canada. It's not going to be a one-two. But at least we can push on flat out at the start of this race. Maybe try and get ahead of the AI a little bit on the pit stop for Inters. Um, and then we'll go from there. And fuel-wise, maybe go... Yeah, I think let's go lower on fuel because we can save some fuel later in the race uh, in the Inter period. The British Grand Prix is nearly upon us. The drivers composing themselves on the grid ahead of 52 laps around Silverstone. The composure of Fernando Alonso really clear to see. P3 is a decent starting position and they should get a good haul of points if they play the race right. This should certainly be a good one, folks. Hold on tight. It's the British Grand Prix. And it slides out and away. We're on the way. Okay, let's just push, push, push. At the start of this race and see Piastri up to P12, looking okay. Lando P18, he's made one position up as we go through into Village. Oh, Haas on the inside. Come on, come on, Oscar. Keep that, keep that position, mate. Keep that position. Yes, lovely. I want to see that Haas in the back. Push on, push on. Get the yes, come on, good. Get ahead of the Haas on Albon now. Lots of movement ahead. Leclerc leads from Fernando Alonso in second place, you know, as the Aston's up into second. Verstappen third, the championship leader. Um, Albon, Hulkenberg. These are people we should be overtaking. It's three wide there. Oh, my God. Hulkenberg, Russell and Gasly having a scrap. And we should be able to have a go at them, maybe. Let's go for aggression. High aggression. High aggression. Oh, it's some close stuff here. Really close. Look how close these cars are. Mental stuff. Russell v. Gasly. Albon getting in the mixer. Can Piastri get involved? I really hope so. I really hope so. Side by side into the last chicane. Nothing, nothing yet. Perez but behind us in B14. He's going to be an annoyance coming through. Maybe we can use him as a little bit of an anchor to pull us through, maybe. I don't know. As Lando gets up to P17. He's making up positions, which is good to see. And now he's on Bottas, maybe. 
through into village. Let's look at that overtake on Sergeant because we haven't really looked at Lando so far in this race. On the outside, to the inside, lovely little move, yeah. Nice. Keep more stuff like that as we try and recover in this race. Because we're now on the back of Valtteri Bottas and Piastri on the back of Albon. Let's go deploy. Let's get this overtake. Come on. Okay, tyres are a bit hot. Let's go aggressive. Fuel, let's go to balance now. Let's not push the fuel too much. Lando's overtaking Bottas, which is good. Oh, good move. Good move to the inside of Magneton Beckett. Wonderful overtake. Wonderful stuff there from our boy. P17. Uh, overtake is very difficult. Oh, overtake failed. Overtake failed on who? Oh, did he get re-overtaken by Sonoda? Oh, no, no. He got Bottas. He just... Oh, he failed to overtake Sonoda, so he's a bit annoyed there. Piastri. Come on. Go for it, mate. Go for it. Not, no yet. Okay, let's harvest. Let's harvest through here. Let's do a bit of micromanagement. Harvest through here. And then we're going to deploy down towards the field. Come on. Get close. We're getting close to the Mercedes car, actually, as well. DRS. Gaining, gaining. Nothing yet. Let's go into Cops. Come on. Come on, Oscar. Come on, get this move. Lost a bit of acceleration there. Well, that Williams is actually pretty damn good off, off the corners. Like, acceleration-wise, I think Williams are actually in the top 10. Maybe even top 8, I think I saw in the car analysis. As Lando gets past Sonoda in Magnus Beckett's again. Good stuff. And Piastri on the outside at Le Field to get Albon. Come on, finish the move, finish the move. It's not done yet. I'm not even going to bother watching the replay because we need to actually confirm this gets done and finished on the outside. It's close. It's close. But Oscar surely is going to get this. Yes. Come on. Surely behind us. Lovely. And we've got DRS off Russell, I think. We should do. Yep. That's going to help us pull away. And Perez is going to be on the back of... Uh, on the back of Albon, hopefully, to give us a bit of breathing room there. And Lando's actually catching up to Perez here as well. And this was Lando actually just overtaking Magnussen, now, just as we cut on on the main straight. Now. Easy, the simple DRS pass, really. Good stuff. Okay, so far, making some good moves. A little bit unfortunate where we are from where we started, of course. That's just the poor qualifying, but working well in race conditions here. All right, let's go aggressive, Oscar. Let's go aggressive, mate. Let's get him. Not too much... Uh, ERS to use, but we'll use a bit of fuel here. With DRS open, sitting duck. Oh, that is George Russell. He's been had, mate. He's been had. Come on. No, defend this. Get the position. Please, Oscar, finish this move off. Please, I beg. I beg. Give us some good news on the outside. Oh, Russell pushes him wide. Oscar, round the outside. Come on, boy. Come on, mate. I think he's got him. Yeah, he's got him. Lovely. Lovely. All right, Lando's in the toe of Checo Perez. He might even go for a little move here. Ooh, nearly, nearly, nearly. Let's sit behind Perez because surely he's going to overtake Albon soon. So let's protect the tyres a little bit with the cooling. And then for Oscar, he's actually dropped Russell. So let's calm things down a bit on the tyre there just to bring them back into a working range and hopefully keep up with Gasly somewhat. It's Lando. Oh, Lando's going for the move on Perez. Not even pushing. Not even pushing. Come on. Come on. Yes. This is it. Oh, Perez comes back in village. The two are side by side. Perez squeezes Lando. Lando comes back with the elbow out. Come on. Get him on the next exit. Oh, who's going to have DRS? I think Perez might have DRS, unfortunately. I oh, know we both do, to be fair. So it's just another drag race. And into the Luffield section. I mean, the crowd will be going wild at this point to see Lando on the outside. It's turning into a biblical battle. This is with Perez and also Albon involved. Let's go pushing. Let's go. Let's try and get away from him. And with, oh, with Oscar, let's go push as well. Let's get the Haas. Oh, we just witnessed that on the inside of Cops. It's a good day. This is, this is a much better race day. We've got, we got some punchy moves here. Rain expected. That's calm. That's fine. We're cool with that. We're cool with rain. Let's keep pushing on, though. Catch up to Gasly. As we're now pushing on with fuel. Let's go deploy. Can we overtake the Williams on the inside? Lovely. That's what we want. That's what we want. That's what we like to see. Yes, mate. Save as much P12. Good race so far. Good race. Probably the most overtakes we've made in an entire race, really. This is very, very good. 
I'm liking this. It's a bit dark. It's very overcast now. We need to watch out for that rain. We said lap 13, 14. Let's keep an eye out on the uh, on the indicator. And Lando's overtaken Russell. Come on. Come on. P11. Come on. This is more like it. This is more like it. And Oscar on the back of Gasly. Oh, come on. On the outside. Pit window entered. The rain's not here yet. 0.0, 0, .0 millimeters track details moderate rain in two minutes more moderate rain dampness yeah i think uh i think still carry on like we are but lando's really flying in this race he's caught up now to hulkenberg might go for the move on hulk yes on the inside that's it that's what we want that's what we want lovely keep going mate keep going stunning stunning stuff oh yellow flags Yellow flags for what? Don't know for who. It's very, very dark now. My God. As the free spins on turn three. What else is new? As Alonso sets the fast after the Grand Prix. As it's still a battle between Leclerc and Alonso for the lead. Science is up to third. Verstappen dropped to fourth. The Red Bull's really not liking Silverstone. And these colder conditions, maybe. As the rain's still not here. So we need to look after these tyres a bit. And just keep it like this, I think. I'm fine with us being P9 and 10 when we get into the rain bit as it oh it starts raining now okay interesting interesting a lot of rain okay a lot of rain let's pit let's pit if you're saying a lot of rain lando let's pit now let's pit now we'll keep oscar out for one more lap because he's the lead car and he's actually fighting people actually here so he might he might be onto something oh there's a lot of water there's a lot of water 0.5 i think we might need, need to call oscar in as well i don't want to double stack but we might need to we might need to double stack them Everyone's in the pits. Everyone's in the pits. Ah, uh, I'm gonna have to double stack. All right, car, cool things down here. Harvest. I'm gonna have to double stack. There's no way I can't pit Oscar. It would be, it, I would be killing his race if I didn't pit now. Um, right. Okay. Is there any way I can tell Lando just to calm or book up? Uh, no. Okay. We're gonna have to double stack them. Double stack. It, it needs to be done. It's too wet. This needs to be a good stop for Oscar. If this is not a good stop for Oscar, it screws both both of them. Pit stop issue for Sainz. No issue for us, I don't think. Oh, no. We got held in the pits. We've been held. We've been held. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Hey! Hey! What's going on? What's... What? Are you kidding me? What a shit game. What a shit game. No, I'm reloading that race. I'm reloading that race. I'm not having that. That was the, the glitchiest pit stop ever. There was so much room for Oscar to... Nah, there's no way that's like a typical held up in the pit. Like, he had so much room to go. That's peeved me off so much. All right, we're back on the redo. Lap 10, Piastri's P9. Perez has done a little bit better in this race, but Lando's on the back of him. I'm pushing them flat out because I know the rain's on the way. Um... This time, might pit them, I don't know, pit someone earlier because that, that was just so stupid. If the rain's going to come, like on the next lap, probably pit them now. Seeing rain droplets. I'm going to carry on, carry on with Lando. Going to be very, very damp. Don't take risks. Don't take risks. It's a bit wetter than earlier still. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. That's pit into... What are you thinking? Where's Piastri? P10. Okay, Piastri came out in, okay, in an okay position then. I mean, Lando's got peak confidence right now. Peak confidence for a man on dry tyres in the wet. Yellow. Don't know what for. Oh, Joe's span on turn six. And Lando comes through. It's not an amazing pit stop, but it's 2.5. And he's actually ahead of Piastri. Yep. Lando. Oh, my God. The redo. We've gained so much staying out. So much staying out. Unbelievable. That makes up for how pissed off I was at that pit stop earlier. I was so pissed off at that pit stop. All right, Lando's still running P6 on lap 19. We're actually catching Russell. Piastri's not as quick as Lando, it seems, in the wet. P10, not really catching Ocon. We've been caught by Hamilton, who we've got ahead of in the pit. So, um, well, I don't know. I think we'll just see how we go, how we go with him. I think Piastri might actually have to do this second pit stop. I think Lando could maybe get to the end like we did in Canada, which could be a, a, a big result for us. But I think Piastri, let's commit early to pitting early, uh, along with everyone else, basically. And then Lando, let's push. Let's get this Merc. 
Let's get this Merc on the outside. It's close. Let's go Helmet Cam. Look at this. Look at this. Ooh, through Maggots. Beckett. Let's get him on the exit. Oh, close. Very, very close. Ah, there we go. He's got him. He's got him. Lovely stuff, mate. Lovely stuff. Let's watch that replay. Think on the outside of cops, you know. Or just in a straight line off Luffield. In a straight line off Luffield. Good. Good. P5. Again, Lando's just really good in the wet on this game. Really, really good. Right, pit window for Oscar's opening. I think we pit soon. With Lando, I'm I really think he can get to the end on this set. So I'm light I'm on I'm I'm on light. We've been pushing the fuel, but we've actually pulled away from Russell. Such is the pace of Lando's AI on this game in the wet. It's ridiculous. As well as his tire saving, which is really, really great. So I think the plan is really protect these tires. We're at 69% wear compared to 58, 58, 58, 58 for a lot of these AIs. So I think we, we've got enough to maybe be able to get to the end like we did in Canada. It's going to be an ask, but I think that's the best way to get this man on the podium. Somehow, after all of that, the redo with that glitchy pit stop. Possibly, possibly the way. Meanwhile, with Piastri, he's under pressure from Hamilton. His tyres are going off. I think let's push it flat out and know we'll come in right, in the next lap or two. Problem. Yeah, going to pit in this lap with Piastri. Right, he's in. Lando continues on. All right, Verstappen's in. People are coming in. Piastri's going to gain here with, a, with an overcut, I think. All right, people in. Lando's up to third. Alonso, Alonso pit and came out ahead of us, is that? Has he made another pit stop? Did he just come? Did he really just do that? Tire history, Fernando. Uh, oh, Leclerc as well. Okay, fair enough. Leclerc and Alonso are that far ahead that uh, they're ahead of us. But at least we're third. We're third. We're third. So we've gained a lot there, actually. We may have not gained second or first, but third place. Still very, very good. And with Oscar, let's see how much he gains here. Hamilton's in the pits. Ocon, Albon, Piastri flying through. Where are the cars? I think we're good. That's Ocon. So we've, we've, we've overtaken Ocon and Albon, I think. I think both of them were ahead of us. So good game there by Piastri. Right, going to go Lando standard till the end. I think that's, I think you should be able to make it to the end like that. Track. Oh, wait. Track conditions change to dry. I mean, it's drying out. It is drying out. It's a mile away. It's not, but it's going to start raining again. Now, nah, let's not be put into a fault sense. Let's not be put into a false sense. It's drying out. So let's just keep things calm, I think. Keep him, things calm. Let's use this fuel Lando's got. Get this tire temp up a little bit. It's going to lull in rain for now. Yeah, but we're gonna, it's going to get wetter again. There you go. It's getting wetter. Science is gaining. DRS is activated, I think, because it was dry momentarily. So this is Carl Lando fighting for third place. Tracks damp now. Surely that means end of DRS. I hope so. But 15 laps to go. Can Lando hold on to third once again like he did in Canada? Let's see. This time it's a much quicker Ferrari. I think the, you know, when we were when we held Alonso, the man who's ahead of us now in Canada, that Aston Martin wasn't that quick then. But this this Ferrari is pretty quick. And obviously the Aston's improved because he's ahead of us. Ah, oh, there you go. Oh, oh, oh. Thing is to keep, the time. keep fighting him. Keep fighting him. Go, go, go. Come back at him. Attack him. No, he's got away from us. Ah, I think he might have us. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Can you keep up with him? Or he's going to have too much pace. Too much pace? I think the Ferrari. I think the Ferrari has too much pace for us today. I think we might have to sell for P4. Yeah, P4, I think. Oh, this is close. We've got how many laps? Four laps to go. Five laps. Five laps for us. Five laps to go. Verstappen's 1.2 behind us. This is Canada all over again, trying to keep the position ahead of a quicker car, maybe. This time, not for a podium, but P4, which would be still flipping fantastic. And Piastri's done well. He stayed eighth place. Hamilton's got Ocon, so Piastri's looking to try and hold up Hamilton to get P8, which would still be something. That would be good. Uh, oh, he might have him here. He might have him. Let's deploy. Try and defend. Just try and keep him up. Hold 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 him up. Bit of a harvest job through village. Oh, no. I think Piastri span. Oh, no. Oh, he locked up. He locked up. No, he's down to P9. Piastri. 
Oh, come on, mate. I know your tyres were a bit worn. I was pushing you, but Lando's not made an absolute foot wrong this entire race. It's still going to be a point, maybe. But it's not, it's not four. It's not, it's not, it's not, you know, it's not four points like he should have got. Bad lockup. Bad lockup straight on. He's just not really getting there, is he? Quite. We can look after this time. And Lando's getting some confidence defending against Verstappen right now. Let's go deploy. Oh, my God. I've been on top up this entire time. Defend. Defend. Keep ahead. Keep ahead. Top up through here. Deploy. Oh, don't let him by. Don't let him by. Don't let him by. Top up. Harvest through these corners. Deploy. On this straight. Three laps to go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. He's getting close. He's getting close. Harvest, harvest, harvest. Oh, we don't have enough fuel now. That's going to be the iffy one. Okay, we pushed away from him actually there. That's very good. False sense of security though. Because he's behind us again. We keep it going, we keep it going. Oh, oh, he's gaining. He's gaining. Oh, Verstappen is trying. He's trying his best. As we look at the rear wing of this McLaren for so long to try and keep this going. The tyres are now screaming out. We've gone one, one lap to go, mate. One lap to go just to hold this through. Last lap. Keep deploy, keep deploy, keep pushing, keep pushing, mate. Keep going. Neutral. Harvest. Deploy. Push, push through here, push through here. Harvest, harvest, harvest. Deploy. I'm li I literally know how this circuit goes. Even though I'm looking behind, I know exactly where the corners are. So I'm just doing this on intuition of when I should be harvesting and topping up, etc. And recharge. Go through on here, the deploy. Confirm. Push that fuel. Push it all the way to cops, and then we'll go balanced. Push, attack, full attack, full attack, full attack. Leclerc's won it. Leclerc's won it. Congratulations to Leclerc. Alonso second. Great podium for him. And Ferrari with the double podium. That's very big for them. But we are looking to hold up Verstappen. And we have micromanaged this perfectly all the way to the end of this race. And I think we're going to get this P4. A little bit more, lighter, a little bit more push more right to the end. It's going to be P4 for our number four, Lando Norris, from P19 to P4. What a recovery drive at the British Grand Prix for him. Piastri, P10 in the end. Made the mistake, lost the P8. It's still a point, I guess. It's still a point, I guess. Happy with that. Good job, everyone. What a good stuff, Lando. Good stuff. Good stuff, mate. P4. Not quite the podium. Not quite matching what he did in real life. But it's a solid, solid result nonetheless, all things considered. So, in the Constructors, we are 33. We're still like 20 points off Alpine as they, they're still scoring quite well. Uh, obviously, with Gasly. Well, Ocon scored today. Gasly didn't, but they scored previously at Austria, obviously. So, still some work to do to be gaining on, on Alpine. But I feel like we are definitely looking back. You know, we're not looking back now at Williams and Haas anymore. We're kind of looking ahead to try and bridge that gap to Alpine, which is really, really quite good. And so overall, yeah, really not bad. Really not bad. Double points. Uh, Piastri could have had P8. But apart from that, yeah, really, really solid, guys. So yeah, if you have enjoyed it, then be sure to hit the like button. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. When you're around here, then do get subscribed for weekly Formula 1 content. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.